Indian startups are estimated to have raised 38.3 billion dollars in funding in 2018 behind only the US and China a report has said Flipkart's 16 billion dollar deal with American retailer Walmart accounted for the biggest piece of the pie followed by Swiggy raising about 1.3 billion dollars over 3 deals and Oyo picking up 1 billion dollar in 2018 the report said Other big funding deals included those by Paytm Mall, Renew Power, Byju's and Zomato. Last minute airfares from the Delhi airport to key domestic destinations on an average surged 28% on Thursday amid flight operations getting impacted by dense fog and poor visibility conditions. Following poor visibility conditions departures from the Indira Gandhi International Airport were suspended in the morning for around 2 hours and there were also flight cancellations 13 Canadians have been detained in China following the arrest on December 1st of a senior executive from Chinese telecom equipment giant Huawei Ottawa said Thursday with 8 subsequently released There are approximately 200 Canadians overall who have been detained in China for a variety of alleged infractions and continue to face ongoing legal proceedings and the number has remained relatively stable in recent years. The FDI rules for e-commerce have not allowed foreign investment in the inventory based model or multi-brand retailing the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion clarified yesterday. It also stressed that the provisions are also not against the interest of consumers noting that only fair competitive and transparent business practices would be beneficial for buyers. Moving on, the Indian economy has started 2019 on a weak note as new investments in the recently concluded December quarter of 2018-19 plummeted across the board according to a report by the Center for Monitoring Indian Economy. Almost every major sector has shown signs of slowdown in terms of fresh investments the report said FMCG major Nestle on Thursday welcomed the Supreme Court's order that allowed NCDRC to proceed with a 3 year old suit with regard to Maggi filed by the government only on the basis of laboratory test reports The Apex Court was hearing a case filed by the company against two interim orders passed by the National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission in a suit filed by the Ministry of Consumer Affairs seeking damages of rupees 640 crore. The government had moved NCDRC after Nestle's popular instant noodles Maggi was banned by the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India in June 2015. for allegedly containing lead beyond permissible limits forcing the company to withdraw the product from the market Apple Inc on Wednesday took the rare step of cutting its quarterly sales forecast with chief executive Tim Cook blaming slowing iPhone sales in China whose economy has been dragged down by uncertainty around US China trade relations The news sent Apple shares tumbling in after hours trade hammered Asian suppliers and triggered a broader sell-off in global markets.